All right, so what's your name? My name is, well, my name is V on the streets. V? Yeah. How old are you? 37, just turned 37. What's your current situation? You homeless? I'm homeless right now. How long have you been out here on the streets? I've been out here for two and a half years off and on. How'd you end up out here? Well, my mom got sick and so I was, I had a job. I had, I was just like normal, just like you, you know? I have kids, I have seven kids. I had my own house, four bedroom house, my job, care chicken, making 3,500 every, every two weeks, you know? But I lost my mom and I went downhill, you know? Found blues. Then for there, it's just, my life was gone, you know? Lost. I've tried to attempt three times to get well, better. It, it stayed clean for a little bit and then just right back up again because this stuff keeps happening, you know? So it's hard though. The streets will chew you up and spit you back out. It's very hard out here. So. So you say you have seven kids? You yes. Said? Mm -hmm. Seven kids. Where are your seven kids at right now? Well, five of them are older and grown already. Have their lives, you know, living their lives. Got kids. I have two grandkids, and my youngest ones are in Mexico with their dad. Okay. So I chose, you know, no mother that would choose to make a decision to tell their daddy, you know, look, I'm falling. I, I need you to take the kids. It, it was just hard a decision, you know? It hurts me because I love my kids. I took care of them myself throughout the whole life, you know? So it was hard, but they needed it, you know? And I made that choice, a good choice for them. Do you have any other family other than your mom? Yeah, I have brothers and sisters. Um, but after mom, we buried our mom, we all just went our ways, you know? We weren't close growing up either, so. It's tough, okay. you know. What about your dad? My dad's gone. He, I lost my dad in, uh, in 2009. So, really, really tough childhood, you know. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to hear that. That's so, cool. How, how was your childhood growing up? Um, my dad was in and out, you know. I really can't talk about, you know, his where he his background, but a little bit. Um, he was um, a big knowing man, you know. So, in and out, you know. I always took from my mom. But he was a dad, you know? But it was hard because my mom was a mother to six kids alone, you know, with chronic depression and stuff. So we had to grow up fast and we took care of our siblings, you know? So we grew up quick. So it was, our childhood was really tough. When you say in and out, what, what does that mean? In and out of jail, prison? No, no, like he was just in and out, like just oh, comes, like, yeah. Okay. Like he was here out of jail and everything, but he was just doing too much, you know? that couldn't be around us, involving us, you know, like stuff like that, like cartel shit, you know? Okay. So, yeah. So how is it out here? Is it dangerous or what well, goes out being, here in the streets? A lot goes out here, you know, gunshots, you hear gunshots. Like not too long ago, I was living on the canal in a, in a tent. And I mean, there's a park right behind, you know, it's, they call it hidden park, you know? you can hear the people like screaming. It was like barrio versus barrio. Like you can hear the ladies screaming and, and the guys like telling them, get out of here, all the girls out of here now. And I heard the shots just go by my ears. Like I had to stay still because I was scared. If I moved, I was going to get hit, you know? That's how close I was, you know? Yeah. So it's not easy out here. So, you know? It really isn't, and then being a, and then being a, a lady too, it, it's yeah. it's 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 a struggle, you know. I'm alone every day, and I, I get scared at night. You know, I don't know what's gonna ever happen. Who's gonna come along? Who's watching me? I don't know. You know, I get scared. I really do. It's scarier for the women out here. I I believe so. Coming from a woman myself, yeah. Cause us women, yeah, we're strong. They say we're stronger than guys, but. We're not stronger than guys, you know, physically, you know? No way, you know? And well, right now I'm staying right here in the back right here in a little tent that I made up, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Is it a r real tent or is it No, it's like a out pallet, of out of pallets and blankets, you know? Yeah. Two pallets on the floor, my blankets, and then two pallets, and then another pallet here. There so we go. get cold in there at night? Yeah. The way we keep ourselves um, warm with this sanitizer, we burn it. We turn it on fire and we burn it. Okay, so that just stays lit. Lit, uh huh. And then it just keeps you warm in your spot. Yeah. So you put that inside your tent. Or yeah, right? inside where I'm at, and I'll just put it like on the floor, yeah. on a rock or something, and just let it burn. That's crazy. Yeah. That's some survival stuff right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really.
tell me about your life before you were homeless. Like, what kind of job did you do? I was, care- I was caregiving. I'm a, I'm a caregiver. I'm a certified caregiver. Okay. Making 3500 every two weeks. And you had your own apartment? My own house. Four-bedroom house. Two cars. Had how everything. Long, how long were you doing the caregiving for? Um, as long as I was around with my mom. So I, if I had someone to take care of my mom, I would get those days and, and work. If I didn't, I'll stay with my mom, you okay. know? Okay. So you, you were doing the caretaking for your mom? No. Well, yeah, she was one of them also taking care of my mom, so I would get paid with one my mom. One of your patients? Right. So she was one of my patients besides my other four that I would go through throughout oh, okay. the day. Yeah. How long but, were you doing that for? Like how many years? So off and on, it was, I was a caretaker for two years. Two and a half years so you know but still being I was still I don't know what was wrong with me I you know I had a job and everything and I would still be out here you know I don't know what you know I don't know what happened I just things that happened in my life you know trauma yeah. and just it makes you turn to you know but it's because you don't we don't seek the right help you know yeah. so my advice to people right now going through anything emotionally physically mentally Seek help because that's what happens when you don't. This is what happens. You guys, you guys seek other medications that are not good, like this, the blues. You know, don't turn to it. Get help. Talk to your mom. Talk to somebody. That's where I messed up. If uh, if anybody out there has any help for you, what kind of help do you need, and where can they reach you? Um, um, if anybody has help that I need right now, it would be with housing, you know, clothes, take a shower, you know, we don't get that type of stuff out here. It's hard. You know, even if they say, oh, go to cast, it's horrible over there. It's not, it's it's not, it's not easy down there either. You know, it's not, they make it sound it, but it's not. And then they say they have all these resources. It's not true. Just like was down at cast not too long ago. They're like, oh. We're getting everybody off the streets and we're going to put them in um, hotels. Not true. It's a whole like waiting list of a year and a half. We don't got that time. What's going to happen between then and then, you know? So if I, if anybody has asked me to help me out, it would be with housing, job, you know, clothing, resources like that. And where can they reach you? Right here on 47th and Indian School, 43rd and Indian School. I'm throughout everywhere in that area. You don't have an email or anything like that? I don't. No phone, nothing. What kind of a job would you be willing to do? Housework, caregiving, you know? Things like that. Even yard work. Anything helps, you know? All right, well, hey man, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Are you okay if I use it on my YouTube channel? Yes. All right, thank you. You're welcome.